Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right, let's get back into it. I need another so you're all just watching Leopold eat. Oh, Leopold is quite a magnificent beast. It's not. It's a caprice. Mother used to have a set of them when I was a child. You collect them from everyone you know, then cast them in the fountain and make a wish. It's an Orlesian high society game. From the looks of this crowd, I guess nobody is in a wishing sort of mood. Oh, I'm gonna find all those Caprice coins. You just watch and wait and see. I can't do that. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Mother used to love these coins. She never got to bring hers to the fountain. Why not? You don't get invited to fancy Orlesian parties when you marry an apostate. Another caprice. How many of these are there, I wonder? I don't know. It's definitely a question one should ask. Any more caprices? Hunting stores. Let's see here, sell that, sell that, sell that. Don't need that or that or that. Sell all junk. Hawk, do you even know why you're picking these coins up? They're shiny. Don't pretend you wouldn't do it too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. How many coins are there? Wishing well. Four coins have been thrown into the fountain. My, my. I never thought you'd actually attend, champion. I was hoping it would be a shock. Part of my plan to become the most talked about noble in Thedas. If I'm any judge, your scheme will succeed. What do you think of the party so far? Recommendations for people I should chat up. The gentleman over there is Bantigan of Ferelden, younger Ooh. brother of the Isle of Redcliffe. And of course, there's Lord Cyril, Duke Prosper's son. Who are the worst in the crowd? Do you see the two young ladies over there? That's Babette and Fifi de Lancé, daughters of the Comte de Lancé. Don't make eye contact. You'll thank me later. Oh, I'm gonna confront them. This is gonna be good. I get the feeling that everyone here is a moment away from tearing each other apart. <laughs> Don't get between the Comtesse de Lancé and the wine, or we will certainly see bloodshed. We should probably go mingle a bit more. Sorry, elegant. Laces to go, canapes to eat. You know how it is. Yes. I think it will be quite the interesting evening, don't you? Stand back. Cahir must like you, my dear Paul. He's not usually so polite. <laughs> yeah, he is not polite at all, good sir. Champion, I cannot thank you enough for your kindness to my poor Emil. I may have to enlist your services in finding him again. You were so good at it before. When he was in the circle, he wrote to me every day. Now I get nothing, not a word. What kind of apostate on the run doesn't write to his mother? Do you think he's become an abomination? An abomination? Oh, my poor baby. Oh, the scandal. What would people think? I cannot bear to think of this any longer. Good day, messer. 
Right, so the worst thing to you is what people would think. So you're worrying about you. Lame, get out of my face. Again. Champion, it's good to see you again. I'm sure you don't remember me. We met when King Alistair made his trip to Kirkwall. I'm Ban Tegan Guerin. You think I often intervene between Meredith and foreign heads of state? Wait, actually, yes, that's pretty normal for me. You remind me a great deal of someone I once knew. Who is this woman, Tegan? I beg your pardon. Isolde, this is the champion of Kirkwall. Hawk, allow me to present our lesser Isolde. Tegan, I must speak with you right now about the horrible thing Dulce de Lance said. I... of course. Please, excuse me, Monsieur Hawk. A pleasure to meet you. If you speak to Ban Perrin, I don't advise you to bring up the Chantry or Knickers. All right, sounds like I'm chatting up Ban Panthry. You did well, Sirrah. Perhaps there is a hunter in you after all. Maybe I should open another cask of the Montfort White. Yeah, yeah, maybe you should. Can I help you? I've been stung by a bee. I think it's swelling. Maker, am I dying? The swelling is almost as big as your head. Don't just stand there, man. Do something before it's too late. If I die, make sure the world knows. I died in Chateau Hain. <laughs> There's no need for such drama. Come with me. I will see what I can do. Leave them to me. A few moments alone, and I can get us the key to the chateau. <laughs> My, what a big sword you have. Do they give those to all the chevaliers? So impressive. Lovely party. Well, he doesn't have it. <laughs> what? He forgot he'd given the key to one of the servants. What kind of guard forgets that he's locked himself out of the castle? We'll go out there and mingle until we find a way in. Or get so full of caviar and wine, we fall asleep. Right. Nothing to worry about. This can still work. So, let's find the servant. How many could there be? One for every cheese tray? I'm trying to stay positive, you know. <laughs> Ooh, Liliana. In Seneschal Bran. Champion, what a surprise. Seneschal, dear, introduce me to your delicious friend. Serendipity, this is Sarah Hawk. Awkward. So, can we talk about something else now? The canapes are interesting, aren't they? And everyone here is so... upper class. What an astute observation. We should get moving. Lots of people to greet. It was a pleasure meeting everyone. Don't be a stranger. Don't be mean, all right? All right. Maybe that person is trans. Maybe they're not. You don't know. I don't know. And it's none of our business. It really is none of our business. Let's just leave that alone. See how easy it is? Liliana. A sister Nightingale? Champion, it is good to see you again under less dire circumstances. I... Talis? Liliana, it's so lovely to see you again. You look stunning this evening. Your hair is darling. Did you do it yourself? I get the distinct impression you've met before. Oh, briefly. A long time ago. You meet all sorts of people in Orle. It keeps life exciting. Well, I'm glad you two had this chance to chat. Yes, it was very fortuitous. We shouldn't take up more of your time, Liliana. I'm sure you have things that need attention. Right now. Okay, what was that all about? Enjoy the party. It's quite the event, you know. All 
right? There's an elf servant here. Let's talk to this guard. Is something the matter? Uh, my friend here has had a bit too much wine. She needs to sit down inside before she gets sick on a duchess. <laughs> oh, oh, I can hear the ocean in my head. Tide goes in, tide go... Ow. <laughs> That's never a good sign. My apologies, but I couldn't let you in, even if I wished to. Well, dang it. I guess we're just gonna puke in the fountain then. Thankfully, I've never done that. I've partied hardy, but I've Can never I interest puked you in, in the some fountain. Antivan olives? Or I have some smoked am from the Andrefels. They say it tastes of despair. Wait, does it really? How can ham taste like despair? Why would anyone eat it if it did? That's what the importer said. They all talk like that. This wine has notes of oak and springtime. This cheese tastes of sorrow. <laughs> Who needs more despair in their diet? What is that good for? I've heard that artists are fond of it. I don't suppose we could have a peek at the kitchens. I'd love to see this hopeless dish in all its glory. I don't know. I, I shouldn't leave my post. What a scandalous reprieve from olive duty. Think of what the other servants will say. The upstairs maids will be so jealous when they find out. Very well. Follow me. I know, right? They treat you like part of the furniture. I'm surprised they don't sit on it. Avoid the cheese plate. Terrible. <laughs> have you got the key? I'm usually better at this. She didn't have the key either. Uh, this isn't supposed to be so complicated. Maybe we could steal dessert spoons and start tunneling under the wall. That's not terrible. Hang on to that idea. <laughs> the servant says she gave it to the Duke's son, Lord Cyril. Let's find him and hope he didn't pass it on to his father. So, Lord Cyril. Lord Cyril, eh? Why does Lord Cyril have it? Excellent. Join us, champion. We were just discussing your famous confrontation with the Kunari leader. You must tell us the tale. It was the talk of Denerim for months. You have never been to Chateau N, yes? Please, allow me to give you this caprice. It's an old custom. <laughs> My mother spoke often of Leandra. They were great friends when they were young. It's a shame neither could be here. Where are your knickers this time, Perrin? <laughs> Shut up, you painted shrew! What entertaining manners our guests have. <laughs> Don't you agree, Hawk? Uh, Talos needs a word with you. My friend here has been dying to speak with you privately. She's talked of nothing else. Uh, for you, Hawk, of course. No, I don't have the cheap tray. You're mistaking me for... I was hoping we could... <laughs> Fine, I'll put that in the trash. That Wyvern blood has some kick, doesn't it? This is officially my worst night ever. Not Lord Cyril's type. Maybe he just doesn't like elves. Or... women. Well, you've got one of those factors covered. He has the key. Go get it. What? It's your turn, Hawk. Go on. Seems like I could save time and just assume a plan will fall apart from the start. It hasn't fallen apart. It's just, uh, not entirely cooperating with reality. <laughs> just go try something. So good luck with that. All right. Thanks. I'll be right there. So is that it? That's the whole game? I'd like to thank all the little people who made this moment possible. Let's just get going. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to do it.
tell the elf that her pleas are for nothing. She's pretty enough, I suppose. No doubt there are some men who would like that sort of thing. Uh, we're not going to get anywhere if we don't seduce him. I thought you might be a man of refined tastes. I have a great appreciation for beauty. Why don't we talk again after the party? You have it! Tell me you have it. Was there ever any doubt? Good, then we can find the jewel and get this over with. You don't sound that excited. It's simply been a long time coming. That's all. This jewel is that important to you? Yes, I suppose it is. I want this part of my life finished. So soon? I heard they were just about to bring out the candied nug. I want to see that. Let me ruin it for you. It tastes like forgotten aspirations. Oh, you have crushed all my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Let's find that door and get inside. Sweet. Did we talk to everybody? More discovery? Put what you found to good use. I discovered more social interests <laughs> so we want to go this way that should do it what in the name there's no need for you to die today friend just move on you never saw us. You could have walked away. Of course he didn't walk away. That'd be a bad trait in a guard. I know that. It's not like his family can say, we thought he only had to bake cookies. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. Enough. We're here for the heart. I'd like to do this quietly. Alert as few guards as possible. What do you think? I agree. Don't relish the thought of two dozen guards chasing me around the chateau. Quiet's the way to go. I'm glad you agree. Let's go. This part of the chateau will be crawling with guards. We'll have to try our best to keep out of sight. Or we could try to create distractions, provided you're good at throwing stones. And if all else fails, we'll give them a sharp knock on the head. Right, of course. Just try not to do it all the time. All right, I'm ready when you are. Quickly, over here. Okay. Strap guards. Attention to a specific area. Use it now to move the guard. Okay. Let's see here. The wine of Chateau Hain. Shadows. Hiding in the shadows will cloak Hawk unless the guards are very close. Okay. Ooh. Let's go. Hard and high town too. Even harder. Barrack will want to know about this. Yeah. Shadows. Did you hear about the Duke's meeting with the Empress? I never listen to court gossip. That'll get you killed, my friend. I mean, he's not wrong. Alright, in a second. Can't 
speak now. I have too much to do preparing the banquet and Leopold's dinner. You don't want to see her with and go hungry? If you need something, ask one of the servants. Well, why are you still bothering me? There's a problem in the courtyard. Something about a poisoned comtesse. The servants were looking for you. A maker's breath. What have those useless elves done now? I suppose I'd better deal with this. Nice. Heart to stomach. An interesting entry in the cook's journal that might help with contaminating Leopold's food. Tried a new seasoning for the caprice this morning. A bunch of loot fisk, a few slices of old cheese, and a lot of navy. Gave the duke the runs all day. Not to self, not so much navy next time. Sweet. So what is it? A bunch of loot fisk. few slices of old cheese and a lot of navet. Maybe I need more navet. A bunch of loot fisk, a few slices of old cheese, and a lot of navet. Maybe more loot bisque? More loot bisque? I might have to look it up. So, a bunch of loot fisk. Let's go with 10 loot fisk. And then three slices of old cheese. And then three, four, five. No. Hang on. I'm gonna look it up, because this is just taking too much time. Okay, so I looked it up. Uh, let's see here. Four of those. Five of these. And three cheeses. There we go. Hard to stomach. And I got a level up that I can't do right now. Damn it. Leopold's food. I think Leopold's going to be an unhappy wyvern after that. Yeah, probably. Which I feel good about. Incapacitated guard. 
Incapacitate knocks a guard out, allowing you to search his body. Use it. Incapacitate. Key. Dolan punched like he'd never punched before. Make his breath. <laughs> Medallion? Pirate medallion. I wonder if Isabella knows anything about it. Interesting. So something for each um, companion. Quite interesting. Try not to be seen. Skepticism. Bring it on. You gonna move? I must be hearing things. Has a cooldown timer. Damn it. Don't get up, buddy. Stay down. Oh no. What was that about? In the You're making this more difficult than it has to be. Guard has spotted you. Suit the shadows, stay out of the guard's proof. Perception range, you still have the ability enough. to avoid detection. Okay, I'm working on it. I guess I don't have to loot the crate again. Bugger Prosper's vault if someone got past. There we go. Let's go. Easy peasy, baby. Ten hours in this armor, a man's gonna pass out. That's my bloody story. <laughs> he was too cold. Oh, of course. It's either too hot or too cold. It didn't or a bed's either too soft or too lumpy. Nothing is ever just right with her. What a bitch. Hey, some people just need a little bit more help. Here, let's move. Uncertainty. In uncertainty, find infinite possibility. An old relation saying. Okay, which way do I go? Uh, let's check out the left here. Because there's a quest marker going to the right. Let's go to the left. Oh shit. It's right. Stay on target. Stay on target. I don't think I can do that. Dang it. Let me save. Just in case if I like really fuck up. Good thing I saved. Is more difficult than it has to be. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Just follow this guard, nice and easy, like. Go on. You know you want 
to. Yeah. Go on, get. What is in here? Come this way. A chest and a chest. Nice. There, it was never opened. Say, Frenchy. All set. Okay. So we just got two chests. That's it. Sounds good to me. You didn't try the cheese, did you? Are you joking? It tests of despair. I'm not a madman. <laughs> Bust of the Outlaw Bearded Beast. Interesting. There, now what's this way? I'm sorry, Monsieur. It's all squashed while the house took a bite of it. It's really not that bad. Just put it back on the plate and cover it up with some gravy. Uh -huh. Really? No. Go remake the pie, please. I ain't eating that pie. Unless if it's going to some ungrateful bitch. Then it could be okay. But if I was going to me, it would not be okay. Still gonna draw. And a library of distinction. Lady Adam Duval. Portrait of the Dowager. The Holesians have a saying, you must dance with the Dowager if you want to play the game. Huh. Interesting. Nothing here? Okay. So I want to go there? I think I do. Okay, got another courtyard. Oh, jeez. He's gonna see me. Is someone there? No. Come on, go back to your post. Yeah, there we go. What was that scrabbling noise? I don't know, you should go check it out. Ah, 
Oh shit. Oh, my head. What was that about? I don't know. None of you have the key. Oh, my head. What was that Not about? going to happen. I must be hearing things. Do you have the key? Yeah. Balcony key. Bugger prospers vault if someone Sweet. Will pass. Let's save real quick. Yeah. And then wait for shit to refresh. Nodded off, I suppose. Hit the floor hard enough. Curse it, what? Bam. Done. Why not to be seen? Look here. I think we're almost there. I think this is the last hallway. Didn't see anything. Bugger prospers vault if someone got past. Huh. Ah shit. It's never as easy as it seems, is it? I swear I didn't know. There must be some sort of switch. Switch party members. Hawk and Talos must activate the floor switches in this room to simultaneously to progress. Left click on a character's portrait. Okay. Still can't level up. Alright, uh. Hold position. Okay. Yes. Top of the statue. Seems to have worked. Sweet. What about back to there? Hold up. 
We got some treasure chests to loot. How do we loot those? Ah. I see. Maybe up here? There we go. Woohoo! Another medallion. This belonged to Tartara, the captain of the Bride's Lament. You stand on that. Hawk, you stand on this. No? Maybe it is here. Yeah, there we go. See what's in here. Something wrong. I don't know. Yes. Don't fret, my dear. I see the party's moved indoors. It's not over yet. But it is over. I knew who you were the moment you arrived. Assassin. Assassin? I knew it. You did? Have you met my friends? All of them are crazy, and most of them are killers. Clever girl. Have you also deduced that your elven friend is Kunari? Your Kunari? It's complicated. I really like Talas. Everyone's got to have a job, don't they? Aye. She chose you well, didn't she? Look, I came to stop the heart from doing something we will all regret. She didn't. Leave her out of this. And waste all the effort I spent luring you here before the heart's arrival? Don't be foolish. Asse hasatra mas. Mas avas trasukulun. Take them away. Oh, well, this isn't good. The elf was Kunari. And the dwarf has no beard. I know it made no sense to me either. <laughs> Maybe they cut her horns off. The Kunari are not a race. They are a religion. What I don't understand is why a Kunari agent would try to kill one of her own people. And why involve the champion? Excellent questions. I expect answers to match. I live to please. I have a question. When the Duke told you what I was, you said you didn't care. Was that true? I would have said he couldn't compare to your awesomeness, but that might have seemed petty. I am sorry, 
This didn't work out like I'd planned. Obviously. What was your plan, exactly? The one I expected to find is named Salit, a member of the Ben Hasrath, the heart of the many. I was told he's here to sell secrets to the Orlesians, and I came to stop him. I... Suppose I was misinformed. Hmm. So everything you told me was a lie? Not everything. So I just missed the part where you're one of the people I drove out of Kirkwall. You don't need horns to embrace the Kune. What you need is a purpose, a belief in unity, in improving the lot, not only for your own people, but for everyone. You're right. I can think of many people who would be improved by the loss of a head. You're joking, but you're also right. That doesn't mean it's the solution for everyone. So everyone else just loses a foot? Maybe a big toe? Being Kunari doesn't automatically mean you're a zealot. Most Kunari don't even understand humans, why you act like you do. But I grew up among you. I understand perfectly well. Oh yeah? Wait, aren't you here to kill someone for the Kunari? I never said I was killing him for the Kunari. So you're improving his lot? Perhaps repeatedly? I know it's not easy to understand. After what the Aeroshock did, I hardly blame you. But just tell me, can you honestly say there's nothing to improve? Nothing to strive for? We believe in striving together. We may stumble, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. I'm not arguing about this. It's who I am. I joined the Ben Hasras because I felt it meant something. M means something. So you came here to stop this elite from betraying your people? You probably won't believe me, but this isn't a political mission. It's... personal. What do you mean? Salit was my best Rathari, the one who recruited me into the Ben Hasrith. My tutor. He's the one who saw my potential, convinced me that I could make a difference. It doesn't matter now. But you said he was selling secrets. He is. Or at least he intends to. One last act of defiance. I can't let him do that. Not when he'll hurt so many others in the process. You mean, he'll hurt other Kunari? Not every Kunari is a soldier, you know. There are tens of thousands of farmers, artisans, craftsmen. People who have never hurt anyone. People whose only crime is living. They don't deserve what he's going to do to them. But it's more than my duty to stop Salit. It is my moral obligation. You mentioned the heart of the many before. But you said it was the name of the jewel. It's also what Ben Hasrith means. Some people say we're enforcers that keep the Kunari in line, but that's not it. It's hard to explain. Try. We're the soul of the Kuhn. We keep its spirit alive and protect it from both outside and from within. Not every Kunari agrees. Nor do they always do what is best for all. The Ben Hasrath remind us of our common goal. Ugh. Uh, an excuse for tyranny. I disagree with the Kunari. I do. I think their way of living is shit. Oh, you were born a farmer, so you're always gonna be a farmer. What difference does it make when a farmer wants to be a trader? Because happiness is fleeting and all. No, fuck that. An excuse for tyranny. With force, I assume. 
It's not always meant to end in violence. There are other paths. They do not all need to lead to the same destination. I probably don't sound very convincing. The way you're talking, it sounds like you're one of these Ben Hasrath. I am, or I was. Whether I ever am again, I guess that remains to be seen. Is that why you're here? To redeem yourself? Not to them. Doubt is the path one walks to reach faith. To leave the path is to embrace blindness and abandon hope. Another Kunari proverb? She who swallows wisdom in tiny chunks avoids choking. <laughs> So did you really involve me just because I had an invitation? You were the only one on the invitation list who wasn't a personal friend of the Monfort family. And you're also the champion of Kirkwall, and a Ferelden with no reason to love or lay. And what was going to happen when all this was over? I thank you, we go our separate ways. Really? I wouldn't notice a thing? Truth? You're... Not exactly what I was expecting. I've heard a few stories about you. They don't quite do you justice. Perhaps if I'd done my homework, I would have known more about you. Given you the respect you deserve. Nothing I could do about it now. <sighs> I suppose the good news is, with all this extra time, I can learn to knit. Could you make me a sweater? No. <sighs> The first order of business is getting out of here before His Grace decides we would taste good in the soup. Or whatever he has planned. Any ideas? Oh, I'm sure the others will be along any minute now. Oh, I give up. We've been through every inch of this place twice and there's no sign of them. Or we've been through the same 20 feet of this place about a dozen times. It's hard to tell, Ravani. We should have gone <laughs> treasure hunting in Wildervale instead. <laughs> You're still upset that you couldn't swipe a drink from the party, aren't you? <laughs> <sighs> That's it. I'm officially tired of waiting to be rescued. Why didn't you just do that before? You said your friends were coming. Hawk, you're all right. Of course you're all right. Let's get out of here. So, back through the castle, then? There's a better way than fighting through the Duke's entire army. I'll show you. Here's your equipment talk, laying around in a locked chest. Then we should head for the caves. <laughs> That's the way out I planned to take us through, originally. The vaults. Unless you want to carve your way out through the Duke's army. We'll see. Maybe I do. So we're going to keep following her. Wonderful. It's up to you which way you want to go, Hawk. I'll help you either way. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Thanks so, so much for watching. I've been the loving Miss Scarlet Fox. Please be sure to like the video, comment all the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.